Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives to push this truth in these last days. Shalom also to the few aquats and those sincere Akiams, you know, sincerely seeking this truth. Shalom. It's the brother Yara Ya from the GMS Italia camp with a quick one. And I want to start by reading from this book of Isaiah chapter 3 verse 12. It quotes, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. Okay. I'm doing this lesson because, you know, the brother Yahawada of the GMS Italia Cam sent me this article, but I can only find it in the Igbo BBC, okay? So it quotes Angelican Diocese of Cape Coast. Okay, so what they did was, you know, they made this woman, okay, the Anglican Diocese of Cape Coast, which is in Ghana, okay? And that, we see what it's written here, women rule over them. This is an example. We have all different examples like, you know, women being in different positions of holding different positions of authority over men, which is, you know, an abomination. So as you can see the picture right here, she's all she's even praying for <laughs> for the so-called bishop, which we know all this Christianity thing, Christianity thing is, you know, crap. So as you can see, both of them were made diocese. Okay, that's how right there so as you can see and you know Jake Jake have you know just like the scriptures say they have a zeal so you can we can find that in the book of um, Roman Romans excuse me Romans chapter 10 this is the book of Romans 10 verse 2. For I bear them record that they have a zeal of God, but not according to knowledge. You know? Jake, Jake has a, a zeal. Jake wants to wants to wants to follow the most high how about Shemi Shai, But they don't do it according to according to knowledge. So how can a full-grown man like this be kneeling at the altar of their so-called, you know, fake church, you know, and having a woman bless her? This is madness. This is totally against the scriptures, you know. So now, let's get some more scriptures. This is the book of 1 Timothy. Yeah, that's what I need to 12. This is the book of 1 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12. But I suffer not a woman to teach, not to usurp authority over the man, but to be si to be in silence, okay? But over here we have women, you know, teaching in churches, you know, usurping authority over men. You see, the man right there is holding the microphone for her while she blesses a full-grown man like this. And we have this, you know, so if you don't really know the meaning of diocese, you know, I have the dictionary here. It says a district under the pastoral care of a bishop in a Christian church, you know. So in which, you know, this is just totally madness, man. These people go to the churches, but they don't know what's written in the book, you know. Let's get another scripture. A lot of scriptures we can bring out, you know. Let me get the book of Ephesians. Ephesians, yeah, five. I'd 
read verse 22 say his wives submit yourselves unto your own husband as unto the lord yehovah shem yahushai for the husband is the head of the wife even as christ is the head of the church he is the savior of the body therefore as the church is subject unto yehovah shai so let the wives be to their own husband so let the wives be to their own husband in everything okay this is probably a wife of someone she could be she she might she might not be married but you know it's an abomination that she usurps such authority somewhere they call a church even if it's outside of the church you know let's see if we can get there's a scripture i'm actually trying to connect yeah it's the book of first corinthians first corinthians um i'll go for 14 This is the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 verse 34. It quotes, Let your woman keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in the church. So I really don't understand what Bible these people are reading from. <laughs> if they read the Bible anyway. I don't understand where these people read these Bibles from. You see, but Jake, just like the book of um just like the book of um of Isaiah 3 that we just read. No, let me get it from here. Isaiah 3. Is it 12? Yep. The book of Isaiah 3, 3 12 says, it says, As for my people, children are their oppressors, and women rule over them. O my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, and destroy the way of thy path. You know, in this part of the world, Jake has been, you know, really well suppressed, just like every part of the world where Jake is, you know. They don't even think with their brain anymore, they don't have any sense of understanding anymore. Just like it's written in the book of Isaiah, chapter 1, verse 3, you know. This is madness, man, you know. There are many of the other scriptures, you know, I can bring out. Let's see what's here in the book of Rome. Is it Colossian 3.18? No, this is not what I'm looking for. Excuse me. Well, these are all, you know, precepts regarding the woman. But, you know, the main point is here. The main point is here. First Corinthians fourteen thirty four. You know, let your women keep silence in the churches, for it is not permitted unto them to speak, but they are commanded to be under obedience, as also said the law. And if they will learn anything, let them ask their husbands at home, for it is a shame for a woman to speak in a church. So I just wanted to bring this, you know, short edification out. I, I hope this video was edifying. You know. And you know, people people are on the comment sections writing things like the best thing about it is that she's proudly displaying African air without any cover. I'm proud of Ghana. You see, Jake is true, man. So proud of the Anglican Church in Ghana, you know. End time or what hey, this is someone this is someone that understands something, you know. He can feel there is something wrong about it, you know. Why? What's the end time about it? But you will go to a ministry owned by a woman. Bosh, bosh. <laughs> I love this progress, you know. See, this is Jake is true, man. Jake has no understanding, you know. They are happy about stuff like this. You see, a grown-up man like this, 
you know, kneeling before a woman in a church and she's praying for him. She was made a diocese. You know, I hope there is. Well, that's it for this video. I hope it's edifying. I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Ruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth. Until the next one, Shalom.